Hello students, today I am going to discuss about a very important chapter that is algebraic equations and today I am going to discuss about how to write an equation for a given statement and how to find the solution for a given equation. What is an algebraic equation? An algebraic equation can be defined as a mathematical statement in which two expressions are set equal to one another. In simple terms we can say equation means equality. That is the equal sign. We have to use equal sign. Here I have written one statement 15 added to a number is equal to 20. Now I don't know the number. Suppose the number be x. So let the number be x. Number b x. Now as per the statement it is given 15 added to a number. So if I add 15 with x then I am going to get 20. So it will be 20. Here these two expressions are set equal to one another. Since equal sign is used that means it is an algebraic equation. We cannot write any equation without this symbol that is without equal sign there cannot be any equation. In this equation expression before the equal sign is called the left hand side and the expression after the equal sign is called the right hand side. Here I have written one statement a number added to 9 gives 15. Here the number is not known so we can consider it suppose it is P. So let the number be, let the number be P. As given a number added to 9, a number added to 9 gives 15, means you are going to get P plus 9 equals to 15. Here one statement is there and we have to frame the equation. The statement is Nabita thinks of a number. He doubles the number and adds 7 to it. His answer is 19. Now in the statement it is given, Nobita thinks of a number. Since we don't know that number, we can consider let the number be P. So write let the number be P. Let the number be P. He doubles the number and adds 7 to it. The number that we consider is p. So after multiplying by 2, it will become twice p. As given, he doubles the number. So already we have doubled it. And adds 7 to it plus 7. His answer is 19. That means this equals to 19. Clear? Nobita thinks of a number. So we consider let the number be p. He doubles it. So doubles means multiply that number by 2. So it will become twice p. And add 7 to it. 7 to what? 7 to that number which is multiplied by 2. His result is 19. So this is equals to 19. So this is an algebraic equation. I hope how to frame an algebraic equation is now clear. What is linear equation in one variable? An equation consisting of only one variable where the power of the variable is 1 is called a linear equation in one variable. If I consider twice x plus 5 equals to 7, in this equation how many variables are there? Only one variable. x is the only variable. And what is the power of x? Power of x is 1. Then we can say it is linear equation in one variable. Say another example. Suppose P plus 7 equals to 9. In this equation how many variables? Only one variable. P is the only variable. And what is the power of P? Power of P is 1. When an equation consists only one variable and the power of the variable is 1, then those equations are called linear equation in one variable. Now the value of p for which left hand side will be equal to right hand side that is called the solution of this equation. 
Now how to solve this equation? There are different ways by which it can be done. First method is called trial and error method. That means we have to try with different type of values. We have to consider p equal to 1, p equal to 2, p equal to 3. In this way we have to keep on trying till left hand side becomes equal to the right hand side. This type of equations can also be solved by the method of balancing. In this method, same number is added to both sides of the equation or same number is subtracted from both sides of the equation. And if needed, we can multiply both sides by the same number or divide and the third process is called transposition method. Here we have to move the term from one side to the other side. In this method, we transpose a term instead of adding or subtracting it from both sides of the equation. Now one by one I will explain all the methods. Suppose one linear equation is 7 minus p equal to 4 and we want to find the value of p by trial and error method. We have to try with different numbers. If it is wrong, we have to try with the next number and we have to continue till we get the value of p for which left hand side will be equal to right hand side. I will start with 1. Suppose p is 1. p ka jaga 1 bit hao. If p is 1, 7 minus 1, so it will be 7 minus 1. Instead of p, I am writing 1. 7 minus 1 equals to 6. And right hand side it is 4. Are they equal? No, they are not equal. So we will try with the next number, say 2. If p is 2, what will be the value of left hand side? 7 minus 2, so it will be 7 minus 2, 7 minus 2 is 5 and here it is 4. Are they equal? No. We will try with the next number that is 3. Now 7 minus 3 equals to 4. Here also it is 4. Since both the sides are equal, therefore required value of p is 3. For any value of p, other than 3, the equation is not satisfied. Clear? So, the solution of this equation is 3. Now, I will explain second process that is the method of balancing. Suppose this is the equation 5x plus 2 equal to 7. In this method, depending on the need, we can add the same number to both sides of the equation. If needed, we can subtract the same number from both the sides. And not only addition and subtraction, if required both the sides can be multiplied or divided by the non-zero number. Now in maths, whenever plus sign is there, its enemy is minus. If minus is there, its enemy is plus. For multiplication, enemy is division. And for division, enemy is multiplication. That means their behavior is just opposite. Okay. Now 5x plus 2 equal to 7. For solving this equation, we are going to make use of it. Now here, it is just like a puzzle. X is my friend and I want to save this X. But this X is captured by 5 and 2. So I want to kill this 2 and 5. Then only I can protect my friend X. Now we know enemy of plus is minus. So to kill this plus 2, we will introduce minus 2. So we will write 5x plus 2 and I want to kill this plus 2. I will write minus 2 here. And as I have written minus here, in the right hand side also, same thing I have to do. Here it is plus 2. To remove this plus 2, I introduce its enemy. Enemy of plus 2 is minus 2. The same operation I have to do in the right hand side. Now this plus 2 and minus 2, they will kill each other. Who is left? Now 5x equals to 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. Now 5x means 5 into x. To remove this 5, I have to introduce the enemy of multiplication that is division. So I have to divide both the sides by 5 so that I can remove this 5. Okay, just because here 5x, that means 5 into x, I have to divide by 5 to kill this 5. 
so I will write here 5 x by 5 equals to 5 by 5. I told you if you do division here, here also you have to do the same operation. Now this 5 and 5 they will kill each other. Even this 5 and 5 they will cancel. You are left with 1. So 1x one that means x equals to 1. Just see we got our friend x and the value of x is 1. I hope this one is clear. Let me give you another example. Here the equation is 7 plus a2y equals to 55 and we have to find the value of y. And here we are going to use the previous technique that is method of balancing. Here we can see this y is kidnapped by 8 and 7. I have to kill this 7. And since 7 means it is plus 7, we have to bring minus 7 because minus 7 is the enemy of plus 7. So 7 plus a to i minus 7 equals to 55 minus 7. Whatever operation we do in the left hand side, same operation we have to do in the right hand side. To kill this plus 7, we introduce minus 7. So here also I have to write minus 7. Now this plus 7 and minus 7, they will start fighting and they will kill each other. Now you are left with 8y and here 55 minus 7 is 48. Now still y is not free, y is still captured by 8. Here it is 8 into y and we know enemy of multiplication is division. So we have to divide both sides by 8. To remove this 8, so 8y, you have to divide by 8. Here also, 48, you have to divide by 8. Why you are dividing by 8? So that we can cancel this 8. This 8 and this 8 cancels. 48 by 8, if I cancel 6, 8, 48. Therefore, y equal to 6 and it is the solution of this equation. I hope method of balancing is now clear and now I am going to show you the last process that is method of transposition. In this method that is method of transposition, we are going to move a term from one side to other side to solve the equation. Suppose the equation is p minus 9 equals to 18. Okay and we want to find the value of p. So what we will do? We will transpose this minus 9 in the right hand side. And when this minus 9 will be transposed in the other side, it will become plus 9. So this p will be 18 plus 9. If it is minus, once you will transfer, this will become plus. And suppose it is plus, whenever you transfer, it will become minus. So in the next line we got p equals to 18 and this minus 9 becomes plus 9. Now p equals to 18 plus 9 and 18 plus 9 is 27. Therefore required value of p is 27. Now I have taken another equation x plus 10 equals to 15 and we want to find the value of x. For this, this plus 10 we have to transfer in the other side and since it is plus 10 once it will be transferred in the other side, it will be minus 10. So here x equals to 15 minus 10. This plus 10 we have transferred. If it is plus, it will become minus. So x equals to 15 minus 10 and 15 minus 10 is 5. So 5 is the solution. Let me give you another example. Here twice x minus 10 equals to 2. And we are to find the value of x. Since here minus 10 is there, if we transfer this minus 10 in the other side, it will become plus 10. So next step it will be twice x equals to 2. This minus 10 will become plus 10. Twice x equals to 10 plus 2, it will be 12. Now it is 2 into x. When this 2 will be transferred in the other side, it will be divided. Here it is 2 into x. So when this 2 will be transferred, it will be divided. So in the next line, it will be x equals to 12 
divided by 2. Okay, just because it was multiplied there, it will be divided here. Don't change the sign. It is plus 2, it will remain plus 2. Only instead of multiplication, it will be division here. Now 12 divided by 2, if I cancel, I am going to get 6. Because 6 to the 12, therefore x equal to 6 is the solution of the given equation. This is the last example that I will discuss today. Here we have taken the equation 5x plus 2 equal to 7 and we are to find the value of x. Here plus 2 is there. If this plus 2 is transferred in the other side, it will be minus 2. So in the next line it will be 5x equals to 7 and this plus 2 will be minus 2. I hope this much is clear. So in the next line we got 5x equals to 7 minus 2 and 7 minus 2 is 5. So 5 into x equals to 5. Since here it is multiplication, in the other side it will be division. So x equals to 5 divided by 5. Here it was multiplication, now it will be division. 5 divided by 5, it will be 1. Therefore required value of x is 1. I hope how to find the solution by these different techniques or different processes are now clear. That's all for today. Now in the screen you can see few sums. Try these sums by different methods. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.